story. The Supreme Court just ruled a president has absolute immunity for core constitutional powers, however, not for unofficial acts. This case is tied to former President Donald Trump's election interference case, one of the biggest rulings this year. ABC's Perry Russom is outside the Supreme Court. In a 6-3 decision from the Supreme Court, the justice is issuing a hybrid ruling on the case of presidential immunity. While ruling the president has absolute immunity for core constitutional powers, with the opinion of the court chief justice John Roberts writes, the president enjoys no immunity for his unofficial acts, and not everything the president does is official. The president is not above the law. In dissent, Justice Sonia Sotomayor writes, it makes a mockery of the principle foundation to our constitution and system of government that no man is above the law. A very big win for former President Trump, recognizing for the first time this sort of immunity of ex-presidents from criminal prosecution. The decision stems from a January 6 election interference case where Trump faces four felony charges, including conspiracy to defraud the U.S. and obstruction of an official proceeding. It's tied to his alleged attempts to overturn the 2020 election. Trump has pleaded not guilty. The Supreme Court asked to determine if Trump is immune from criminal prosecution. During oral arguments in April, the Department of Justice argued granting absolute immunity would put a president above the law. In a series of hypotheticals, Trump's legal team argued presidents should have absolute immunity for official acts. If the president decides that his rival is a corrupt person and he orders the military or orders someone to assassinate him, is that within his official acts that for which he can get immunity? It would depend on the hypothetical, but we can see that could well be an official act. And the Supreme Court is ordering the lower courts to figure out exactly how to apply today's ruling to Trump's immunity case, delaying a case that's already been delayed until possibly after the election. Perry Russell, ABC News at the Supreme Court.